Welcome back everyone, and again we're looking at NEO, the software by Lumiere, or Skylum, Lumiere NEO. Get it right, oh jeez. Um, we're going to look at that, but we're going to put an architectural picture through it this time to see what it can do with that, what's in the presets. Is it worth it? Let's go and have a look. So I picked a couple of images, um, and for various reasons, we'll start with this one. So we're going to go into here, and... Let's edit that. So we've got various bits, and I want to look really at all the AI stuff and everything else. Did that just automatically crop in? Let's see what the AI crop does. Interesting. So it's cropped that right side of the building off, cropped the bottom, and actually, that is probably a better shot. Mm. See, I want that line there to be straight. It hasn't done that, to be fair. Is that me being picky? Maybe. I don't care. So let's straighten that up a little bit. And the reason I want that straight is because our eye is going to notice something like that. I'm going to have it tilted very slightly. It doesn't bother me. Um, so the one thing that Lightroom's got that this doesn't is light out mode. So while I'm cropping, I can dim everything else out around. I'm just seeing if there's anything in here. And there doesn't seem to be that does that. Because actually that's really blooming useful because it's hard to imagine when you can see the whole content. I'm almost, I'm putting my hands at the side of the grid there just to see what it's like. And until I commit, and I don't like that again. So, yeah, it'd be really nice if they add that. Skylum, next time, just add that for me, would you? That's a bit better. I like that. We've got leading lines coming in from the right there, angles leading me across to here to where we've got the BT. There we go. So that's a good starting point. So let's go to develop. So we've got a Lumiere default. We've got some standard ones into there, so I can do camera standard. Now this picture was actually took with the Nikon Z FC. Hey, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it as a creator. If you did, that would mean the world to me. It helped me build the channel, and that's what I'm trying to do here. A like or comment would be fantastic as well. Thanks. So I can process all that. I'm just trying to see what they've got automatically. I've got to be honest. That's brought out those reflections in those windows beautifully. Too much there. I must admit, I initially thought when I took this, it was going to be black and white. It still might. Let's see what we've got here, converting. So I'm doing this and I'm picking out little bits, like these lights here are yellow. So as I move that, it either dims them or lights them. I'm trying to work out if I like that or not. Reflection of the glass, no reflection. What do I like? Yeah, and this thing about black and white when you're not using a preset, it's playing with it to see what you get and if you like it or not. Interesting, that's brought out the greens even though I've converted to black and white instead of strengthening. Hmm, don't like that so much. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I can bring the greens back so we can do, actually, yeah, maybe that's the, the reason for it. We can bring it back so it's spot colour. I think I've got to go to edits to do this now, once I've done it once. So we could just bring that back. Just bring the blues back. Interesting. Yeah, actually, um, the more I think about that, it's quite a nice little feature. Now you should do spot colour. Structure. That should be quite nice on architecture. What's landscape to? Oh, D Hayes. Okay. We'll come back to that on the landscape one later on. Uh, Relight. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think this is going to... Not really feeling that for this scene, I've got to be honest. Although actually, <laughs> he says. But yeah, 
darkening this right hand side down so my eyes go to this green actually is quite a nice thing. And then, yeah, okay, I, I stand corrected. I like that. Yeah, that builds that image. Sky, let's have a look. So, sky replacement. Now, please bear in mind that I've got a lot more skies here than what you'll actually get um, because I had uh, Lumiere, so I had loads of skies. Now that's interesting. Obviously I've converted it to black and white, it's put a sky in and it's coloured the sky. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a pain in the backside, isn't it? So now I've just lost all of that. Lovely conversion. Oh, it's such a shame. Obviously, we've got the glass there that's come through, which is... I mean, that's quite a nice sky for it, to be fair. If that would have turned to black and white, can we do anything in here to turn it black and white? Or do I have to go back into here now and do black and white? Yeah, I do. Interesting. Okay, so that's made me think about the process and the order I do stuff in. So that sky is actually quite nice. It doesn't distract from the building. But now I've got to go back. Can we reorder these? Nope, we can't. So yeah, we've got to go, and if I bring those greens back, yeah, that's not working anymore either, because it was black and white on the last one. So yeah, we're a little bit stuffed on that. We've got to think about the order we do stuff. In reality, Sky should have been up there in the main bit to get that, I think. So anyway, there you go, you learn something new. Sun rays. Let's see what this is going to do to this image. Absolutely diddly squat by the looks like that. Oh no, 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 no. I'm sure that might work if you're doing a landscape. Look, can we take it off the picture? Okay, let's round overall look. What's that do? Sunray settings, sun radius. Number of rays. Oh, okay. And again, I think you need to do this because we've got a hint of yellow in there as well, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. And that's quite nice. We've got that hint just coming down to where the BT symbol is. But again, I think conversion to black and white is going to have to be the last thing that you do. So, yeah. I quite like that take on it. That works quite well. Should we see what their presets are like? Have we got some landscapes, macro, cinematic, aerial, urban style? Hmm. Let's have a look. Well, let's just go back to that Toronto. That was quite nice. Yeah, that's nice. Really punching that out. Okay, what else have we got that might work quite well for that? Big city, that'd be good for a nighttime scene. I quite like the suggestions that it's given you. Let's have a look at those. Okay, they're mediocre. I think, yes, architectural, some of your stuff is probably better in Lightroom. Um, that's just because I've built up. I suppose a library in Lightroom, to be fair, you can do the same in here. I'm sure they're going to have loads of bits like that. Um, I'd like to see some more black and white stuff. I know we've got black and white in portraits. I want to see some more architectural stuff, maybe. There you go. Quick little look at those two architectural shots. Nothing special. I just wanted to see what we could do with it, give you some idea to think if you can do something with it in terms of for your shots and give you a little insight rather than having to get the software and play with it. I think it's good. Um, for architectural, does it replace Lightroom? Not really. 
but in terms of things like the sky replacement i would totally get that because the quality of that is amazing the way it cuts everything out you haven't got that in lightroom yes you can have it in photoshop i've got to admit i don't rate photoshop's sky replacement it's not brilliant it really isn't and that beats it hands down it's automatic it just gets on with it they got some nice skies that you can get into and do stuff as well so yes from that point of view have a look at it see what you think for yourself catch you in the next one yeah.